We're still a long way from having a vaccine for COVID-19. Months, if not over a year. We're still looking at at least a year. Like I said, that could be a year to a year and a half. As the death toll from the COVID-19 pandemic continues to climb, some scientists and bioethicists are suggesting we try a human challenge study. It could translate into thousands of lives saved, maybe millions of lives saved. The catch is, volunteers would need to deliberately get infected with the virus. Under ordinary circumstances, the process of developing a vaccine can take years. After the safety of an experimental vaccine has been tested on animal models, a new vaccine will go through three phases of clinical trials. During phase one, a small group of closely monitored subjects test the safety of the new vaccine. Phase two expands to include hundreds of volunteers who have different ages and physical characteristics to see if there are any short-term side effects. In phase three, the vaccine is given to thousands of people while others in a control group are given a placebo. Then we track them for months and wait to see if the vaccine worked. Either fewer people with the vaccine will have gotten infected with COVID-19, or we won't see a difference at all. This is the step that Dr. Ayal and his colleagues suggest replacing with the human challenge study in order to save valuable time. In a human challenge study, you still have your experimental group with the vaccine and your control group with the placebo, but instead of waiting for months and months to see how the outcomes of the two groups differ, you just give everyone the virus. So you'll know very quickly if the vaccine worked. It's gonna sound extreme, this is what we propose, but I'm, I'm gonna try to convince you uh, in the rest of this that it's actually surprisingly easy to justify. Human challenge studies are not new. There are historical cases of cruel and brutal researchers infecting prisoners against their will with diseases such as tuberculosis and plague. But bioethicists today regularly design studies that expedite vaccine development while providing informed consent and minimizing risks. You select people who are young and healthy and therefore at relatively low risk for infection and you provide excellent care for coronavirus disease. Our current numbers for people between the ages of 20 and 29 suggest about 1 in 3,000 die from the illness. He and his co-authors argue that this low amount of risk for fully informed, consenting volunteers is permissible, especially considering that as a society, we ask people to take such risks for our collective gain every time we ask volunteer firefighters to run into burning buildings or relatives to donate a live organ to loved ones. Furthermore, the number of volunteers needed would be a much smaller number than for a typical phase three trial. Eyal and his colleagues predict that only 100 people would be involved. But would those volunteers really help us save time and therefore lives? It sounds easier than it actually is. Developing a safe and standard dose of the COVID-19 virus to use in a human challenge study would require its own timeline of clinical testing. It takes time because you have to standardize the dose. You have to figure out what's what's the mechanism you're going to infect individuals. And we don't yet have any agreement from regulators like the FDA and World Health Organization that data from a human challenge study will be accepted into the licensing of a vaccine. Be that as it may, altruistic volunteers are already clamoring to participate in this kind of study in the event that it gets approved. Josh Morrison, who does organizing work for kidney donation, found out about the proposal from a friend and immediately got to work building an online portal for volunteers to apply. 360 in like three days. The responses that people give to why they're doing it, it's like really inspiring. I am a third year medical student, which means I am just short of being far along enough in my training to help patients directly. I'm trying to do anything I can do to help. I can be more useful as a test subject than sitting on my computer playing Dominion all day. I feel that this is such a clear and obvious choice for someone healthy and young. One person just submitted this image from World War One. 